say hi guys welcome back to my mom's channel hi guys what's up it's natalie welcome to or welcome back to my youtube channel so today we have a special guest should we announce your name should we tell everyone your name? Because everyone's been waiting. This is Arabella. She's sleeping right now. As you guys can see, I had my little baby. My due date was March 22nd, and I had her on March 20th. So she kind of came a little early. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys my delivery story and basically my labor story and how that kind of went for me i know so many people have so many different experiences and stuff and i loved listening to them when i was pregnant so that's what we're going to talk about today but yeah this is arabella let me see if i can you guys see my name is arabella nicole okay so basically my labor was extremely long it was about 44 hours altogether. So my labor actually started at three o'clock on Friday. I noticed I like peed myself basically and then I went to the bathroom and then my mucus plug came out and I was not sure if my water broke or not because it was like slowly, I was like slowly peeing myself but I was not peeing myself. So I called my OBGYN and no one picked up at the office so I left a message with my name, information, everything just kind of saying like is this normal, what should I do, anyways no one called me back. <laughs> and then that night I remember I got like the worst contractions ever, I was just sitting in bed crying because I was in so much pain and I like had no idea what was going on at the time. Saturday morning came and the contractions were just getting really bad and I had an app on my phone to kind of time the contractions. They were really not frequent, like they just weren't adding up and I'd have some that were like 18 minutes apart, some that were 7 minutes apart, some that were like 3 minutes apart and then so then Sam's mom came over which he's my fiance his mom's a doula she came over and basically helped me with breathing when you're in labor and you start having contractions it's really hard to focus on breathing and to like keep breathing at first I thought that was so dumb and I was like oh my god I can definitely breathe on my own not a big deal but in the moment you literally can't all you can focus on is the pain so luckily she was here to help me breathe and kind of go through everything she told me i needed to call my doctor so i did and he basically said don't come in unless they're five to three minutes apart because if they're not they're just gonna send me home i was like okay cool i'll wait so that's what I did. All day I had contractions. I was standing up. I was in bed. I was literally all over the house trying to get myself to get through these contractions. I called my mom and my sister. I told them that they're definitely going to have to come up because I was going to the hospital. So they did. And then my sister brought me Chick-fil-A. And I remember eating the Chick-fil-A. And I just got this really, really, really bad contraction. And that's when I knew it was like, this is just going to get worse. So I finished the Chick-fil-A. And then right after I finished, it was just like back-to-back -back contractions. And that's when we decided to go to the hospital. So at this point, my contractions were five to three minutes apart. So we got into the car, drove straight to the hospital. I remember I was like in the waiting room for 10 minutes, like literally feeling like I was dying. And then finally I went back to a room. They had to check to make sure my water did break, which it did. Like they do like this little tiny test um, to see the fluid, I guess. It was definitely my water that broke. Um, they also checked to see if I was dilated, which I was, yeah, I was one centimeter, I think, or a half. And I was like, there is no way. I'm in so much pain. How am I just not dilated? Like, I was so mad because I was in so much pain and I didn't want them to think that 
I wasn't in pain. So obviously since my water broke, they had to just admit me. Like, so they transferred me into another room. I handed them my birth plan. They were so happy I had a birth plan. I guess not many people have one. So they were kind of shocked that I had one and I really wanted to follow it. And I remember they hooked me up to IV and then they also had to give me an antibiotic IV. The contractions were so bad that they had to give me medical IV, which is kind of like an epidural, but not really. It just helps with the pain for about an hour. So I had two of those and they helped for about two hours and then it was just, I was just crying a lot because I was in so much pain. But if I had one advice, it's to stand up. Don't lay in bed because they're 10 times worse. So what I did was I stood up, I swayed, I, I like moved so much and it helped a lot. They gave me Pitocin, which basically helped with my contractions to make them even stronger to help me dilate. So they gave me Pitocin and then after that about an hour, went by or maybe it was like 30 minutes they gave me an epidural and that made everything so much better i didn't think i was going to get the epidural and then the pain kind of got to me so i got the epidural at night and then the next day was sunday um oh are we talking now so then sunday the 20th the doctor came in around i think eight and kind of woke me up and basically said that he wanted to check me to see how dilated I was. So he did, and I think I was barely like a one, one and a half, and he said I was going to have to have a C-section, that he was planning on giving me a C-section. I had to check the schedule and then check me again in like an hour. And since my water broke, they couldn't like do as many cervical checks on me as they wanted to because I would be high risk for infection. The doctor left and then I guess he was checking on either putting me on the c-section sheet that <laughs> they do or checking on another patient. I don't really know what he was doing but he came back in an hour and I told my nurses that I really did not want a c-section. I was like I don't want this at all this was never in my plan we need to figure something out so then my nurse my head nurse told me to get on all fours on the bed and keep in mind i still had an epidural so i could not feel my legs so i did and she told me to stay like that for about 30 minutes so i ended up lasting for i think 40 minutes and i just remember shaking really bad and feeling like i had to poop and that's when i called my nurse back in and i asked her to check me instead of my doctor because my doctor is like this really big guy with big hands i feel like and this the nurse that i had was kind of small so i was like can you please check me so she said she wasn't supposed to but ended up doing it and she felt like a sack i guess and which was my water she also felt her head she was like i don't think your water broke i think you ruptured it so she called the doctor back in and she told him that she thinks my water never broke that i just ruptured it so the doctor checked and he just broke my water and it was super easy i didn't even feel anything and then i went from like a one and a half to i think like an eight or a nine in minutes and then they were like okay we're gonna start pushing i was like okay at this point i really don't care i just want to like meet her and get this all over with because i'm so tired so yeah they gave me a wet washcloth and i put that on my head and that kind of helped because I covered my eyes too because I got like really really hot and I just remember Sam had one of my legs the other nurse had the other leg and I felt like I pushed for like 15 pushes like 15 sets of pushes because there's like three sets or three pushes in a set and then she was like let me get the doctor and then the doctor came and I did a couple pushes with him and then she was here and i was saying she was the most beautiful girl in the world anyways so then 
I had her and they gave me her right away and we just sat there for a little bit and then and then Sam cut the umbilical cord and they basically followed everything that I wanted in my birth plan the only thing they said they couldn't do was allow Sam to catch her which like I understand but it still would have been cool yeah she came she was over six pounds dropped down to nine ounces she passed all of her tests and I think I pushed for like around an hour actually now that I'm thinking about it and that was not hard I didn't think like pushing her out was hard I was always like afraid of what that feel like I did have second degree tears and then I had stitches as well but yeah she was like the easiest baby to push out I felt like and my epidural actually wore off too and I asked my nurse if I should like because they give you like a button to click so like when you start to feel your legs or pressure, you're supposed to click it so you don't feel anything. And I was starting to feel like a lot of pressure and she told me not to press it just so it could like encourage me to know like she was coming and to know like when the next contraction was coming, which I'm so happy I did. So yeah, they did all of her tests and then Sam got to hold her for a little bit and it was like the best moment ever. Like I just could not even believe it. Huh, you just could not even believe it. And then after like all the nurses and everyone left, around two hours after that, good enough to like stand up. So to go to the bathroom because you're supposed to. And I tried to stand up and I got extremely nauseous. Then I had to sit back down and then they gave me some medicine to help me not feel nauseous. And then they brought a wheelchair, which I kind of felt stupid about getting him because i knew i could walk to the bathroom in time i just like had to wait so then i was like whatever let me just get into this wheelchair and go so then i got into the wheelchair we went all the way into the bathroom and when i was going to the bathroom oh hello <laughs> thanks so then i was going to the bathroom and i tried to stupid me i tried to stand up again thinking i was perfectly fine and I threw up so that wasn't fun and then after I threw up I felt like so much better and they wheeled me back into the chair and then like an hour went by and then I felt good enough to walk so I got up I like had OCD and wanted to clean the whole entire room so that's basically what I did and I wanted to get her announcement pictures done as well so I got her dressed and we took the pictures and I started cleaning the room, kind of moving all the water bottles and, you know, stuff everyone brought. And since I got the stitches, I was bleeding a lot, so they had to, like, keep changing my sheets and stuff. I wrote everything down. Monday, they moved us to a postpartum room. Um, we got our, like, little special meal. I'll insert a picture here of what that looked like. It was super yummy. I think, like, f at least for me, I think after you have the baby, you have, like... S like before you have the baby you have like such a big stomach and like you feel like you need a lot and then after you deliver the baby your stomach i feel like shrinks so i wasn't really that hungry after i had her so they brought us like the special meal and it was super good and sam got a steak and i got a chicken and then we forgot to eat our desserts which was kind of sad but she like slept all throughout the night oh and then i got to shower which showering was not the best i felt like um i felt like really really weird trying to shower because standing up after you have a baby is just weird in general and just feels off so but i wanted to get clean obviously so we i took a shower sam took a shower she had her first bath um she had to have a hearing test and then the first time she failed so i started panicking and then at like four o'clock in the morning, they took her from our room and Sam went with her to do another hearing test. That one easily, which is really good. Then on Tuesday, we were both cleared to go home. My doctor came, checked me, said I could go home. Pediatrician came, checked her, and said she was perfect and that we can go home. And then we came home and we met Tank. 
my dog and what we did was tank was when i first had her the little hat that they gave us um i gave to my sister to bring home to tank and this is like the video of him like smelling everything Pussies. here you go So yeah, I'm really happy I did that with him. And since we've been home, it's almost been a week. As you guys see this, because this is going up on Sunday, yeah. It'll be one week since I've had her. And everything's been really, really good. We've just been really learning how she is and feeding her and snuggling her and putting her in ridiculous outfits. But yeah, that's about it. That was my labor and delivery story. Anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. You have anything to say for everyone? Do you have anything to say? Say hi, guys. Thanks for watching my mom's video. My name is Arabella. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Say bye, guys. See you guys in my next video. I'm going to be a regular on this channel. Love you guys. Bye.